location, a remote location. So we're actually on Big Island for the next three days. Um, we have some things in store that we want to do while we're here. First of all, something different is a tiny home. So that's where we're going to be staying. And we found this on Airbnb. And uh, right now we're standing in the kitchen, which is actually like an outdoor patio area. And uh, let's check out the rest of the place. I'm going to start with the top and I'm going to show you guys this little tiny home. This is like really cool. So it's like a little loft type of setup that this guy has created. He said though you can't be taller than four feet. How, how tall are you? You're... I'm 4'11", so you can't yeah. be taller than four feet. So yeah, she's 4'11", you can already see. But um, yeah, it's pretty much just enough room for the bed. And then you have these steps. These steps that lead up, up to here. And then let me show you the downstairs. Oh, he made them kind of steep actually. All right, so the downstairs, pretty neat little setup, like honestly. So this is the door, as soon as you come in, boom, a little TV. I guess that's like a refrigerator, nice mirror. And then the bathroom is right here, which has a curtain. As soon as you walk in, boom, bathroom. That's where we just came from, which is the patio kitchen area. A little futon looking. And then it's an outdoor, it's an indoor outdoor bathroom. So it has this, but. Yeah, so that's, uh, this is where we're gonna be staying. We found this on Airbnb. One, the price was really good on it. And uh, it's just like the experience. It's like the experience of being here in Big Island. So if you go back to some of the older videos with the travel vlogs, and then I did one or two videos in the Big Island. Actually, I think it was three video series that we did in the Big Island. That was like the four day weekend that I had. Um, we stayed in like an actual home Airbnb and it was more uh, casual type. And I feel like this is more like, this is more like the vibe that I was kind of going for when you come to visit the Big Island, not staying in like a hotel or the resort, which is nice, but Wake up in the morning, as you can listen to right now, it's the, the local frogs. What kind of frogs are they? Kogi frogs. Kogi frogs. So, yeah. Good morning, Ms. Fernandez. Ready to go hiking? Great. Right, good morning so we are at the beginning of this hike we actually just met the landowner um, actually really nice guy walked up to us talks to you and right now as you can see everything's kind of well the clouds are kind of clearing but yeah this is the beginning of the uh, of the hike Starts with the farm, then goes up this road, and we're just going to follow this and see see where it takes us. Go ahead and give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for the rest of the adventures of this hike and for today. We we get, we did donate we did donate to the property owner. Uh, he said it's like his family's land, and there was actually a group in front of us as well. So it kind of worked out to where he was already down and we just walked up. We pretty much just walked up and said good morning. He asked a little bit about you and personal questions. Um, and yeah, that, just to let you know that it's more of a donation. You're at your own risk. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm 
All right, so we have made it to the waterfall finally. We took a little, uh, we took the longer way, the way that goes around it instead of going through the tunnel just because uh, the water level in the tunnel was a little bit higher at the beginning. But, give it up. And the water is ice cold. got finished with the hike about an hour ago actually and last night we what time did we land last night we landed about 4 30 here on the island we did the rental car and then we had to head about an hour and a half to check into our airbnb that's the first thing that we did is just check into the airbnb after we did that well it was a long long mysterious Whoa. road yeah with dogs sitting on the abandoned cars um after we did that then we found dinner yeah we were very hungry and then we had to find what was still open at the time that it was which was like eight o'clock and so we ended up in hilo i think it was or past yeah. hilo. at a hawaiian cafe place. yeah so we went to a cafe for dinner and I ended up getting the cheeseburger. Hawaiian style cafe. She went to the Hawaiian style cafe. I ended up getting the cheeseburger, just keeping it simple. And she ended up getting. What did I get? The cabbage and pork. I don't know. Yeah. Kalua pork and cabbage. Kalua pork and cabbage. But we ordered some lily koi. <laughs> we ordered a slice of lily koi pie because uh, dinner might have taken a while and we were starving. So that's what we did last night. Then we head back to the house. It was dark, it was raining, so we didn't really film much. Uh, then this morning we woke up at 10. Uh, <laughs> this morning we woke up at 4, 4.15, 4, 10, 4, 15, because we went to the slide hike, and that took us two hours to try to drive all the way there, a little over two hours to drive there. And yeah, long story short, we ended up at the slide. You guys saw that. Hope you enjoyed the clips. Hope you liked it. It has been over four years since I was last here for like a three-day weekend. And I tried to find the slide last time. Couldn't find it. I think that was like 2017. Yeah, 2017 I think it was. I tried to find the, the slide and uh, we could not find it. This time we were able to find it. Conditions though were ridiculous. It was very wet the whole entire time. It was, it was raining, muddy. Overall, I would say it went pretty good. And we're back, we're safe. So now we're just gonna grab some lunch. Because again, to the black sand beach. and hopefully head to the black sand beach, yeah. We got lava on the right. We just turned into a suit part, because it's a little cool. So there's two types of lava, smooth lava, the hoi hoi, and the other rocky type of lava. As you can see, the chalky looks kind of rough to step on. That's called uh-uh logo. Uh, not uh -oh. Lava, uh, not logo. Uh -oh. We picked up some, as a snack, we got this ahi shoyu pokey from the Island Gourmet Mart. 
and it's actually an ABC store, but like the fancy one with all the food, so more of a grocery store. And that place was packed with people. And this fish was super good. It wasn't chewy, it was very, it was fresh. fresh. And it very, says fresh. Very fresh and tender. It was like almost juicy, which is kind of weird to call out. Yeah, because he's very picky about all he's. It's usually not really tough, but it's it's tougher than that. Where you like you're really yeah. chewing on it. That this is really worth squish. twenty-one dollars a pound. I that's worth that because sometimes you get it and it's chewy, but it was really good. We're heading to Kona to get some gas because we still haven't gotten gas. And then Kona Brewing Companies are on there, so we're probably gonna eat. And then we're just seeing lava wherever's on this side because somehow we ended up in Kona. And you can't hear me talking because the vehicle is so loud. Look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking Fell in love with the way we are okay. and the way we lose it. Espresso beans covered in chocolate at the chocolate store. Yeah, we had barbecue pizza. Yeah. Yeah, we shared a barbecue pizza, and we're probably gonna eat again before we get back to the house later. So I think right now she wants to head to the Black Sand Beach. Yeah. Since the sun is out finally today and over here, so that's what we're gonna try and find and go do. All right, so we're back at the house. We are, what did we do? We went to, uh, we went to, we we're gonna to try to go to the volcano to see some lava or just a walk on the volcano, but it was already like seven o'clock, eight o'clock, it was already nighttime. And when we got there, it was pouring down raining. So we're deciding to try to do that tomorrow first thing. And then we're also gonna to try to hit the beach, try to see some different color sands if possible. But right now, we left from there went to get what was open, something simple, which was Panda for dinner. And then we got some more ponchos from Walmart. And now we're about to eat. But Tiny Home power shuts off or light shut off at 11 until 7 in the morning. So we're going to kind of speed things up, eat out there. And as you can hear right now, those are um, the, frogs. the frogs. And every single night you hear these frogs apparently. but. Uh, when you're laying in bed, it's kind of annoying, but it's also kind of soothing. It's kind of like, puts you to sleep. Anyway, that's what we're doing. And uh, I guess we might recap what we feel about the hike that we did today. Orange chicken, teriyaki chicken, chow mein, and greens. That's what we're gonna have for dinner. Something different about the way we are. Uh -huh. 